okay, so first of all, I'm not paying anybody to come and set up my bass and correct the intonation. I can do that myself. I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. Okay, so I'm gonna make this quick. Usually when you figure out your intonation is off, you're starting to play chords or... You hear that one note or two notes that are off, especially when you're tuned and you know, you're all set and ready to go. And just that one note is just off. But when you're tuning, the notes are correct. So that just means your intonation is off. In other words, your bass is not in tune with itself. So you can be perfectly tuned up, you know, G string, D string, A string, E string, and be perfectly tuned. But when you go to play that octave note, it's not the same exact note that it should be. It should be that G octave, it may be a little bit sharp, it may be a little bit flat, but we're gonna figure out how to fix that. So the one tool you'll need to fix this is simply a screw driver. Phillips head screwdriver, some bases are different, but I'll show you here on my base where you can actually adjust the intonation. So where you're looking at now, you'll see those screws, I'm pretty sure it's kind of hard to probably see those screws inside of that, but there are screws inside of that right next to the string or the ball ends for the strings. And depending on which way you turn the screws, it adjusts these saddles here back and forth to lengthen or shorten the string, depending on if you're flat or if you're sharp. Okay, so here's the rule. When you go to tune that G string or whatever string you're tuning at the time, you tune that, okay, it's in tune. Then you go to play that octave on the 12th fret and it's not in tune, it's too sharp. So if it's too sharp, you wanna tighten that screw hence lengthening the string, okay? And vice versa, if it's too flat, you wanna loosen the screw, which will shorten the string, okay? That's all you need to know. You can keep doing that trial and error, you know, from time to time. You won't get it perfect the first time, trust me, I never do. Uh, so when you go to tighten the string, and it just so happens to be that my intonation is a little off on one of the strings, so we're gonna do it live here. So first thing you wanna do is tune your bass. Get that all tuned up. I'll do this, you guys don't wanna hear this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the G string, with the string that I know is not in tune with itself. So we're gonna fix the intonation on that one. And you can do the same concept for every single string. You wanna check all of them. So G string, make sure you're in tune. We're in tune, okay. So now we go to the 12th fret. You see it's a little, it's a little sharp. Let's do it again. Okay. Fret, it's maybe five cents or four cents too sharp. So we just found out the note was too sharp. So what do we have to do? We have to tighten that screw. Okay, so we're tightening, we're tightening, we're tightening. I just gave it about five turns. Don't really know for sure. So let's go back. And very important step to do, always retune your string. So let's go back, make sure it's still in tune. All right, now let's hit that 12th fret. Okay, it got a little bit better. Now it's two cents sharp. Might be a little bit more. <laughs> so let's tighten, tighten. We're gonna tighten again. Tighten the screw. Boom. Make sure we're in tune, the regular open string. And we're doing that because sometimes that can adjust the actual string or the note of the open string as well. So we wanna go back and retune that open string. Very important. All right, zero cents now. Go back. Okay, we might've done it a little bit too much. Okay, so now you see it's negative three, so now it's a little bit, little bit flat, so now we have to turn it the opposite way. So I did about three turns that way. That seems like it's dead on. Yeah, that looks good to me. So we're in tune now. The string, the open string, and the actual string itself is in tune. So now you can obviously tell that there's a huge difference between So one thing to keep in mind guys, when you're doing this whole process and you're tuning up your string, you tune your open string, then you go to play that G string or that G note on the 12th fret, you wanna make sure you're not bending the note too much because that can affect the pitch of it. So you wanna 
press straight down on the note as much as you can, as straight as possible. And if you bend it a little bit, that alters the pitch of the note. Even the slightest bend or movement can alter that note a couple of cents. So you want to be careful with that. But other than that, you repeat the same process with the D string, the A string and the E string or the B string, whatever, you know, how many other strings you have when you're tuning your bass. So keep that in mind. Very quick crash course of intonation. Uh, you can easily do this yourself, a DIY version uh, of a fix that's really not hard at all because you can actually sound a lot better and a lot more in tune with your own bass that will affect your playing as well or just your overall sound. So take care of that couple minutes. It took me about maybe 10, 15 minutes, not even, uh, just because I was kind of playing around in between two, so it really doesn't even take that long. But just take some time, sit down, grab you a, a screwdriver. Everybody has a screwdriver. Uh, even uh, when you're setting up your bass, as far as the action, using an Allen wrench. It's very, very easy to get a hold of an Allen wrench if your bass didn't come with one already. Uh, an Allen wrench to adjust your action, uh, just basically moving the strings up or down and the height of the strings. But we'll talk about that at a later date. If you guys are interested in learning about that, comment below. I would gladly make a tutorial about that. I have before, but I'll make one for you guys as well. Uh, let me know. You guys know what to do. Make sure you know it's coming out clean, clear, and precise. Whatever you do play when you're all tuned up and the intonation is great, uh, notes are coming out clean, clear, and precise. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that red subscribe button, same color as my shirt down here below or here on this side. Uh, you want to subscribe here to the channel. Check out other videos here. Um, and I'll be more than willing to help you out if you have any questions. That's what I'm here for. If you're interested in, you know, making this a career, or you know, just enhancing your bass playing to the next level. Bass Nation Academy is where it's at. We have tons of tutorials, lessons, live stream classes, just personal feedback from me. I'll put the link in the description. You can check that out. It's a free trial, so nothing to lose. I'll check you guys in the next one.